Do you keep saying sorry but no one forgives you? Find out why in this lesson. Because today I'm going to teach you about different ways to say sorry. Okay, so listen, sometimes saying I'm sorry is just, it's not enough or maybe it's just not appropriate. And in English, this is also the case. There are different ways to say I'm sorry for different instances. But how do you properly express yourself in English if you truly are sorry about something you did? Let's find out. So first I want to look at how do you say you're sorry when you've made a small mistake. So these are things like maybe you spilled a coffee on someone's paper or maybe you stepped on someone's shoe. So these are smaller mistakes. They are not horrible, life-changing kind of mistake. So just use them on small, 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 tiny mistakes. Number one is the simple sorry or sorry about that. So if you just say sorry about that, it's kind of an apology you do in passing. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about it. So that is when you use this one for small mistakes. You stepped in my poop. Sorry about that. Number two, my bad. My bad is a very informal way to apologize. It's almost like a non-apology. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh -oh. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. It's kind of like saying, yeah, I've made a little mistake, but I don't care enough about it to apologize. So you just say, my bad. Yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to pee on the couch. The cat is mischievous. He didn't care, he peed on the couch. Number three, my mistake. And this one kind of means uh, like a breakdown in communication. Again, it's not a very um, heartfelt or deep apology. It doesn't apply to a very, very, very big mistake that you've made. It's just something small. My mistake. My mistake, sir. Sorry, my mistake. My mistake. This can definitely be used in work context. So you can say, Oh, my mistake. I forgot to call you or I didn't give you the, the right number or something. My mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. My mistake. It has to do with smaller mistakes that you do, but that you're still kind of taking responsibility for. My mistake. I gave you the wrong numbers. Okay, so the next set of apologies is for more serious mistakes. These are mistakes that definitely impact someone's life uh, or really impact your life. Maybe you've done something really bad at work uh, or maybe you've messed up something in your life or someone else's life. These mistakes carry a little bit more weight. So this is when it becomes important to make sure that you use the right kind of apology. Number four is kind of a simpler one and it's just really, I'm so sorry. Just adding that so there in the middle just expresses that you care a little bit more, that you've done something and then it's just, it comes off as a lot more genuine than I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry for your loss. Generally speaking, I'm so sorry conveys a lot more emotion than I'm sorry. It's also not as strong as some of the other ones we'll see down this list. So it's kind of for like a medium <laughs> sized mistake. I'm so sorry I broke the window. Number five is I'd like to apologize. Now this one can be safely used in a work context. If you make a mistake, you can always say, I'd like to apologize. I am sorry, I'd like to apologize. I'd like to apologize to the American people. On behalf of the city, I'd like to apologize. I would like to publicly apologize. It's sincere, it, it's professional, and it gives the message across. I'd like to apologize. I'd like to apologize for the misunderstanding. Number six, I take full responsibility. This is probably as professional as it comes. Uh, it's definitely work approved, so you can use this at work when you've made a mistake. And many times you can continue it with, I take full responsibility for my actions. I take full responsibility for my behavior. I take full responsibility for any damage I may have caused. The reason why I'm adding all of these is because this is probably one of the most formal 
ways you can apologize. You are being honest, you are being uh, serious, you are willing to admit your mistake, and you are doing it in a professional way. And I take full responsibility. I take full responsibility for what happens from now on. I take full responsibility for my actions, and that's more than your friend Ricky's ever gonna do. Something I've also wanted to mention, especially if we're talking about work, this is a very appropriate way to apologize, even in a writing context. So this being a more formal apology, you can use it in writing, like in work emails or letters. This is appropriate. I take full responsibility. I take full responsibility for losing the client. Number seven, it's all my fault. Now this one is definitely about a serious mistake. It's just not as formal as the previous one. So you might not see it in writing, but just speaking. You can use it's all my fault in different kinds of relationships, usually in close relationships, like a relationship you may have with your spouse, your husband or wife, or maybe relationships you have with your family or close friends. It's all my fault. It's all my fault! It's all my fault! I'm sorry, it's, it's all my fault! I screwed up, it's all my fault! If you want to express how you feel and if you want to truly apologize from the heart, this is a good way to say it. It's all my fault. I didn't realize the candle would start a fire. It's all my fault. Number eight is I regret. Regret means feeling sad and repentant and kind of wishing you, you'd never, never, ever done this mistake. So you've done something so wrong that you just regret all of the events that led to it and the event itself and you just kind of wish it never existed. I regret my role in spreading it. I regret my actions. I regret offending my co-workers. I regret it at the moment I said it. Attention I will forever regret. I really regret doing this. I regret it. Now this we hear all the time in connection with romantic relationships. It's one of those words that just comes with it. I regret. I regret my affair. I've apologized. I regret it now. But it can also be a reflection, like things that you've done in your life that you regret, that you wish you hadn't done. I regret cheating on her. Number nine, forgive me. Now, again, this is usually said after making a bigger mistake. We hear this a lot in the context of family or the context of a romantic relationship where there's potential for many, many mistakes and many serious mistakes at that. Forgive me. Forgive me, Khaleesi. Forgive me, brother. Forgive me. Oh, forgive me, Ren. Please forgive me. Forgive me, your highness. I was unworthy. Forgive me. Sometimes we can find it as, I hope you can forgive me, or I beg you to forgive me. I beg you to forgive me. Okay, so now that you know how to apologize for different situations, I want to practice what we've learned. I'm going to give you a situation, and in the comments, I want you to respond with the appropriate apology, okay? Any one of the nine we discussed in this lesson. Here is the situation. You borrowed your friend's expensive new iPhone, and you dropped it on the ground and it broke. How would you respond? What would you tell your friend? Use one of the apologies that we talked about in this lesson to properly express how sorry you are for destroying your friend's new expensive phone. And this is good practice for everyone reading. If you're wondering, hmm, what can I say? Just check out everyone's answers and see what you think. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you did, please like and share this video. I hope that now you can finally express yourself properly and apologize in the right way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Again, this is something said after committing a most serious mistake. Committing a mistake? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, it's time to practice what we've... Oh, no, forget about that. Just ignore that part.